<coughs> okay, it's for it's water. It's a it's a breathalyzer. I'm not vaping. I know you guys are going. Whoa, she smokes weed. She does this. No, no, no. I'm a reformed woman. But once upon a time, I was a weed smoker. But back when I had first ever gone to California to meet Rhyme Style for the first time, I had thought, wouldn't it be a good idea to maybe take an edible on the plane? I wanted to join the Mile High Club minus the sex. I think that's a thing, right? If you, you know, it's, it's kind of a thing. So I went out and bought the Nerds Ropes. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they're the 400 milligram Nerds Ropes that you can purchase from dispensaries that are filled with a ton, a ton of THC, okay? But let me just explain to you, my tolerance level is so low that should I have a 10 milligram, I, I would likely, I would be on the floor. What I wanted to be able to do was just take the edible, go on the plane, relax, all right, and enjoy myself. I'm smarter than you think. See, I wasn't dumb enough to eat the whole 400 milligram edible. I wouldn't do that. But what I did do was cut it up into sections. So I get driven to the airport midday by my dad. When I was leaving, I said goodbye to him, gave him a hug, and I go inside. And before TSA, I go into the bathroom and I have this little bit. It's like this much of the nerd's rope. Now, mind you, here's where I fucked up. See, I neglected to remember that the nerd's rope is 400 milligrams, which means that if I had this much, I had about 100 milligrams on me. I had about a fourth of it, okay? And see, at the time, I was texting Dot Odoya uh, in a colonial-style uh, war veteran letter-esque text where I was essentially typing, saying, I'm about to embark on a journey, all this other stuff, to be funny. Get a few laughs. I thought it was kind of humorous. We hee-hee-ha-ha, -ha, move on. I have these edible rations. And in order to get rid of them, I could have given them away or I just eat what I meant by rations and giving them away was that I had already eaten half of the edible that I brought. But I sat there, and in fact, I was on the toilet when I took it, and I said, hmm, I'm going to be on a plane for like eight hours today. Might as well just eat the rest, not thinking about the fact that it was another 50. Maybe it won't be so bad. Am I so wrong for thinking that I'd be safe on a plane anyway so it doesn't matter? Yes, I, I'm a fucking idiot, okay? And let me explain to you why I'm a fucking idiot, all right? I did not smoke regularly. I had not smoked in maybe eight months. And I went from zero to 100, quite literally. Do you know that, like, camera filter where on the outside it's, like, black and it starts fading in to center something? That's how my vision was, okay? I was fucking blasted. The airport that I used to live near was pretty small, okay? So when I would go there, I would always account for the fact that obviously TSA could or could not be busy. But in fact, today, on this day alone, TSA was not busy. So I was actually two hours early for my flight. I had accounted for the fact that I was going to get onto the plane and be on it for six hours, so being high wouldn't matter. I didn't account for the fact that I was there two hours early. I'm like this. Zoned out of my fucking mind. Like, oh my God, I'm dying. I go to send my friend a text and I remember that I'm doing the whole colonial bit. He he ha ha. The text I sent to Dotto, frame one, was I'm not doing this colonial thing anymore. I'm way too fucking high. Afterwards, I decided I should probably get, what, a Starbucks coffee. Because I figured by my high logic, my logic was that I would go get Starbucks so I could counteract some of the sleepiness of the weed with caffeine. I go to the Starbucks counter and order a quad shot. I don't know if she knew I was high or what, but she starts like to make my order. She takes my order and then she goes, hey, do you really like uh?" the board game Sorry. And she starts telling me this story about her family playing fucking Sorry. And she just doesn't know if that was like a good game for them to play because it's not really like optimal for stuff. And I, like, I swear to God, I swear to God she knows that I'm high. I swear, right? Because she's literally, she was doing like NPC level conversation where I was just standing there and I'm like, uh-huh. But she, she had to have been messing with me. I decided to go to the bathroom after this. Now I walk, get up and I go into the bathroom and 
have you ever had that sobering moment okay you know the one where you get up you go into the bathroom you pee and you don't really want to look at yourself because you know what's coming but unfortunately i have to wash my hands and i walk over to the mirror and it was like my eyes were so red and they were like this i might as well have been asleep fuck like like just so baked i was a baked out of my mind it was so bad okay it was so horrible i leave the bathroom and i know i'm fucking high i realize that my plane from the boarding area i was sitting right across from it had already started boarding and i'm realizing that i have to make it past the flight attendants in the beginning in order to scan my boarding pass to get on the plane and if they think i'm too fucked up i'm worried that they might not let me on the plane i'm very concerned but do you guys remember that tunnel vision where i couldn't see chat okay listen i wish i was joking when i say it was like this small my box of vision was this small and it was blurry it was like damn near fish-eyed okay with black all around it so i'm staring at it like this and then eventually i lean over to the guy next to me and I go, uh, hey. And he's like, yeah, and I was like, uh, I can't read that. I was like, what, what group are they calling right now? And he's like, six. And then I look down at my phone, I'm like, oh, group five, thanks. And then I just like walk away. And this guy, like, this guy knows I'm baked. So I walk up and I go to the flight attendant, I scan my boarding pass, she doesn't say a word. I think, you know what? I'm golden. I realize that on a plane, when you walk on, you're walking this way and everybody else is looking at you this way. And my anxiety hits and I go, oh my fucking God, everybody on this plane is about to know that I'm high. You know the flight attendants in the beginning? The guy goes, hi, how are you? And I'm like, uh, hey, hey. I'm looking down at my phone as if I'm looking at anything and it's just my phone screen. I get to my seat. I'm finally safe. This is going to be an easy flight. I'm about to be on it for five hours. No problem. All I have to do, pull up the switch, open Mario Kart, and I'm home free. No one is ever going to try to talk to me if I'm playing Mario Kart. They're going to leave me alone. And then right as I go to pull out my switch, a mother and her seven-year-old come and sit right next to me. And the kid is really, really fucking annoying. So she lets him sit in the middle seat between me and her. Why she did that, I don't know. And forever to this day, I'm mad about it, okay? I can no longer pull out my Switch because you know what happens every time you have a kid near you and you pull out any type of video game? They go, can I play? And if you think my high ass is sharing my Nintendo Switch with some goddamn six-year-old on a plane who is annoying as shit and won't shut up, you are dead wrong. But I also didn't want to pull it out and say no. If I'm on a plane and, and I pull out my Switch and the kid says, can I do a race? And I say no? Am, am I the asshole? I feel like I'm kind of the asshole, right? So I literally just sat there like this in my seat. And I just tried to go to sleep, you know? Rest my head a little bit. The problem with that though, is that I couldn't sleep because you know I started getting uncomfortable. You know when you get uncomfortable in your chair and you start shifting? I started doing that. So for the next six hours, I was wide awake on this flight the entire flight okay the entire flight i was wide awake high out of my mind you would have thought that i was an insane person the way i was sitting here like this just listening to music here we are and i finally get to my layover here i am i get off the plane and i think i'm way less high but what you should note is that i'm way less high by comparison i go sit down start playing some mario kart get some food and I'm like, I have two and a half hours before I got to get to my plane. Landed at 7. Plane leaves at 9.30. I'm golden. Walk around. I get some good food, okay? I'm relaxing. I'm having a good time. Mario Kart is going a breeze, all right? I'm winning every match. Sure, I'm not playing in online mode, so some would say that I was just fighting computers. But there's, it was still good, okay? I was winning. 8.30 comes around. Golden, solid. Nine comes around and I go, great. I got 30 minutes till I gotta go board my plane. And then I start to think, maybe I should start walking to my plane, but no, I have time. 
And then I double check my boarding pass to make sure the time. I look and it says flight leaves at 9.30. I say, great, wait a minute. If your flight leaves at 9.30, surely that means I can board at 9.30, right? But no, in fact, I was baked as fuck. It hits me at 9.15 that I realize my plane leaves at 9.30. I go sprinting down the airport hallways, okay? I'm running, all right? Get all the way there as the last person is going in, and I run up to the lady, excuse me, ma'am, uh, uh, is it, it, can I get on the plane? And then she goes, yeah. Are you, do you have a ticket? We're pretty much done boarding. So I was literally the last person before they closed the door. They closed the door as I was getting onto the plane. And so if you thought the first time I walked down the aisle, hi, was bad, everybody was on the plane now. So I had to walk down this way, super baked, super late, and miserable, staring at every single person. Sat next to a baby on this flight. That sucked. I get off and I end up getting out and going and meeting up with my friends. And if you thought, well, at least by the time she got there, she had a really good time. I uh, had my friends meet me at the airport only to walk past them three times because I was so high, I didn't see them. And they knew that I was that high, so they didn't stop me. So one of them texted me, turn around, dumbass, I'm right here. I'm, screw it, I'm done. I, I was like, I, I'm done. I literally told them, I said, guys, I know we're supposed to hang out tonight. I'm gonna go home and I, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Thank you. It, it was the most high I've, I've ever been. And the dreams that I had that night, I don't even think were dreams. I think it was just me going like this in bed because I was still baked. Accidental 100 milligrams of a nerd's rope. Chat, I don't have, or I don't have a bong. Do you guys think I smoke now? I don't smoke. Look, it's not a bong. It's for my voice. Anyways, you guys want to hit? Don't do drugs. And also subscribe to the YouTube.